Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another tutorial video. This time I'm going to be showing you guys some of the few brushes that I use and how I use them to paint Galaxy. Starting off with a watercolor brush, I put the opacity percentage all the way to 100 and the size really big as well. Then I picked a dark navy blue color and start painting the whole canvas with that base color. The reasons why I like to start off painting with the base color is because the base color kind of acts as the type of atmosphere that I want my paintings to be like. So for instance, for this type of painting that I'm doing right now, the atmosphere that I'm thinking about is night sky. So for night sky, I will pick a dark color. And if I want to paint a sunset, I will pick a base color that is orange or red. Since I want this painting to appear at the time of twilight, I'm going to be using some warmth colors such as yellow, orange, red, lavender. Well, just a mixture of warm and cool color. Do note that I'm also using the eyedropper tool as I'm applying the warmth color onto the cool colors because it helps me mix these colors together. You could access the eyedropper tool by clicking the, the letter I on your keyboard or clicked on the little buttons on your tablet. For mouse users, you can right click your mouse to use the eyedropper tool. Also make sure when you're applying the warm color that your opacity is around 62% so that you could blend it, blend the colors easily. After I'm done applying the warmth colors, I'm going to switch to thick brush Sumi ink to start painting the galaxy now. For this brush, in order to make use of the textures, you want to maximize the opacity to 100% and make the brush size really big. So I'm going to pick a lighter blue colors to start painting the little stars of the galaxy. So I also like to flip my image as I'm painting. Uh, you can also flip your image by clicking the down arrow on your keyboard. The reason why I like to flip my image is that it gives me certain viewpoints from the left side and the, and the right side. And what I should change or adjust to what I think will make the paintings look better. You also don't want to stick to one color. There is a variety of colors of the galaxy. So what I like to do is I like to pick green, sometimes red, and lavender. Now to start off adding details, I'm going to reduce the brush size of the thick brush Sumi ink to start off adding lighter colors to create that vibrant, colorful appearance of a Milky Way. Alright, moving on. I'm going to start blending the colors together now by switching to airbrush. I reduced the opacity of the airbrush down to 30% for ease of blending.
Once I'm done blending, I'm going to create a third layer and then switch to splatter brush to start painting stars. For this brush, you also want to maximize the opacity and make the brush really big as well. For a fading effect of the stars, you just want to mess around with the opacity percentage. The lower it is, the lighter the colors will be. Once I'm done painting the stars, I switch to Eraser Soft to erase some parts of the splatter brush to make the stars look more natural and disperse. To create little details of the galaxy, I just reduced the splatter brush size and increased the opacity to 100%. In order to make certain stars appear brighter than the others, I switch to pen brush and create little bright dots that are far away from each other. So I'm not completely happy with how the lighting looks. I'm going to create another layer and set the blending to overlay. The overlay layer helps with creating a vibrant effect or a dark effect depending on the type of cool or warm colors you use. I personally think that this layer works best if you're applying the colors with the airbrush tool. But you could also use different type of brushes if you think that brush works better for you.